Hi, welcome back. Uh, so the lighting's a little bit better. I'm still, I'm really sorry. I need to find a better way of lighting these when I'm home, but I just have absolutely no clue how to do that right now. So I have another three books, and if you hear uh, uh, in the background, that would be my dog. So sorry. <laughs> the first book is The X Games by Jennifer Eccles, and this is a story. Uh, Hayden and Nick were, okay, so, preface all of this. This is a teenage romantic comedy. It is light, it is fluffy, it is absolutely not serious. So, Hayden and Nick were together in seventh grade, and then there was drama, and they broke up, and they're still kind of friends, and they're, her two best girlfriends are dating his two best guy friends. And so everyone's like, oh my god, Hayden and Nick are just going to get together. It's going to be a perfect trilogy, and they're all going to go on triple dates and things like that. And they like each other, but she, she really, she really screwed, up, screwed up. So she doesn't know if she can trust him, but there's lots of making out and arguing, and it's really, it's really fun. And so at one night, they get into an argument, and... They they love snowboarding. They live in this little tiny town where they get a week for win for a winter break in like February because there's just that much snow and you can't keep children inside when there's that much snow outside. And so one night they're arguing and Nick is like, you know what? You are you want a skateboard a snowboard competition? So what? You can't beat a guy. And of course you know the girls are like, hey, you can totally beat a guy. And all the guys are like, uh uh, girls suck. And so you have snowboard competition, battle of the sexes, battle of the exes. It's a fun book. It was it was light, it was fluffy, it wasn't meant to be taken seriously. It was a little bit steamier, I think, than other of the other other romantic comedies that I've read. It it just had a lot of making out that turned very close, like touching on thighs and like small your back and I'm like, that feels a little bit odd. It's not wrong. It just I never I don't think I've seen that in a YA romantic comedy book for a while. So it was a good book, it was a fun book. It was a very nice palette cleanser. Uh The X Games by Jennifer Eccles. Next book is one that I found really fun because I am a Henry the Eighth fanatic, called Kiss of the Rose by Kate Pierce, and it's the first in the Tudor Vampire Chronicle. I know. What? Tudors and vampires? That can't happen. Oh, yes, it can. So, uh, Henry the Second, I believe, he was the one who fought uh, Edward Plantagenet. Uh, Richard Plantagenet, not Edward. Sorry. Uh, made a pact with the Druids that he would protect a vampire slaying family so that they could slay vampires who were druids who had decided that instead of just sacrificing people and using the blood in the rites, they would start drinking the blood and be like, ooh, we are mortal now. And so that pact was made a while ago and it's kind of fallen by the wayside and now Henry VIII is in the ruling and there's a vampire threat. And so Rosalind Llewellyn is sent to court. She's the probably the first female vampire slayer in a long time. The druids do not think that women are capable of vampire slaying. Clearly, they have never met Cat Crawford. Yeah. So, she's sent to court, and also, Sir Christopher Ellis, who is a druid slayer, and uh, he protects the vampires, is sent to court to find this threat. And so they have to end up working together. Oh, I'm sure that goes well. And it was, it was fun. No, no one writes anything written in the time of Henry VIII. Because you have to do a lot of research. Because everyone knows about him, at least a little bit about Henry VIII. Some people know a lot. This person right here knows a lot. And so no one writes it in the time of Henry VIII. No one sets romance novels then unless they're, they're writing historical novels based around characters in that time. Alison Weir does that really well. Um, but 
back to back to these books. Uh, the so of course it's not just a vampire chronicle series; it's kind of a romance series. And oh, what would you expect from a druid slayer and a vampire slayer? But it's it's a fun book. It was I I had a great time reading it, and I really want to read the next one because. And they are not done with vampires at court. And it was, it's going to be interesting to see how it progresses along with Henry VIII's wife. And of course, Henry VIII doesn't believe them at first because he's like, vampires, yeah, right, sure. So, it's, you get, you get Eric and Henry VIII, you get vampires, you get romance, it's awesome. So, Kiss of the Rose by Kate Pierce. And the last book is the book I stayed up until 3 o'clock in the morning, uh, this morning, reading, because I did not want to put it down. I didn't start it until about 9 last night, I think? And so, it's called How I Planned Your Wedding. It's by Susan Wiggs and her daughter Elizabeth Wiggs Moss. I don't know if I'm pronouncing her last name right. But it's a, it's a nonfiction story, and it's about a mother and daughter planning a wedding. And the mother is a romance novelist, and so the daughter, of course, is a romantic, and she has happily ever after notions, and it talks about budgeting, and making your wedding your own, and just tips and things for, A, being able to plan your wedding without freaking out completely, and B, being able to Combine what you really, really, really want while respecting that your mother is like, no, this sounds like a good idea. And of course you go, yes, but that's not what I want. And how to negotiate around that. So sometimes, sometimes parents have good ideas. Sometimes they're not the ideas that you want. And so it, it was a fun book and it was funny. It was absolutely hysterical. These women are hilarious, and I had, I found myself just absolutely laughing out loud probably every, every five minutes from something that one of them said. And it reminded me, part of I, I think why I love this book so much is it reminded me of the relationship between me and my own mom, because we, we are that close mother-daughter. We, when I go to plan my wedding, she's going to be totally on the wedding advisory board. And so it was just, and I know that every, everyone's going to have clashes. And you just have to work around them. And she doesn't like confrontation, the daughter doesn't. And so she gave me, she gives really good advice about what to say when people ask you things that you don't want to answer yet. Or when things start to go wrong, and you're like, ah, that's exactly what I want. And so it was, it was a good book. I laughed so hard, and I actually won this book off of Goodreads. Uh, so book well won. I absolutely adored it, and I will be giving it to my mom to read, and I will be keeping it to read when I start my own wedding planning. And it, it's just an amazing book. It was. So much fun, and I loved it. So that's all the books that I have read recently. Hello, Clover. And I will definitely be reading more. I only have between 17 and 12 credits, because depending on when I drop, whether or not I drop a class. But I will not have a lot of work in the coming spring quarter. I made sure that all my classes are kind of fun classes, except for the one that I had to take. So I will be reading a lot, and I bought 13 new books, so there will be lots and lots of reading and reviewing, and I will try and actually put up book reviews once a week, as opposed to once a month or four weeks or whenever I actually get around to it, because that's just not fun. It means that I have a, back, a backlog of books, and I have to post two videos, which I'm going to try and stop doing. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoy the books that I've uh, mentioned, and happy reading.